True Lies Season 1, Episode 3, Thoughts, and this episode is called Separate Pairs. So, spoilers for the episodes leading up to and including this one, as well as the film that the show is based on. So, yeah, the episode basically makes the you are both on comms right now joke twice. So, I don't even have to, yeah. And, let's see... Yeah, at first I wasn't entirely sure why the episode bothered to show the thing with Ian since, you know, all that happens at the start is that he dies and then, but, you know, by the end we understand, you know, his death motivated Maria to break up with Luther. And, yeah, you know, at, at first it seemed like, you know, I mean, we don't really need, you don't need the villain to kill someone in order for us to want Omega to take out the villain, so, you know, and, yeah, we, we see that, uh, you know, the, the taskers are dealing with money problems, which makes them super relatable, considering that they are also spies, and, yeah, we've learned Maria broke up with Luther after the 2019 mission, you know, took them three episodes, but finally the two of them are actually interesting. And, yeah, Helen points out, you know, I'm, you know, you, you're dealing with stray nukes, and I'm dealing with mold. It doesn't seem as important. I wonder if that made any kind of, like, difference to the people who call her a Mary Sue. I mean, that's a pretty distinct, like, she said, I realize that my problems are not as big as other people's problems. Seems like something a Mary Sue wouldn't do, but, you know. Let's see. I, I maintain I don't think she's a Mary Sue. I'm just... I'm presenting arguments why she isn't. Now, let's see. Yeah, and we learn, you know, the, the government is willing to spend a lot of money on these spies, but not fixing these domestic problems. You know, like... You know, at, at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the episode, they do get help from the government because they focus it on the, the spy thing, which, you know, it doesn't confront it as head-on as I would like to see, but it is still, like, they're pointing out, you know, the government has all this money to spend on, you know, like, this thing, and, and actually, if you look at it, like, the the military budget is ridiculously bloated, so they spend way more than is needed whilst people are literally dying because they can't, you know, yeah, they can't get enough money to, to have a roof over their heads or to eat enough, that, that kind of thing. Now, let's see, so yeah, we get the comms joke again, and I appreciate that this episode has a guy insecure about love. In, in a lot of these, it's the the woman or the girl who's you know, upset about love. And, you know, at the end of the episode, we find out, you know, it does bother Maria also. Which, you know, I know apparently some guys online think that women just don't care about men, which, like, I'm not going to claim that there's no woman out there who doesn't care about a man who loves her, but, like, a lot of women get into relationships because they, you know, at least partially because they love the man. If they end up not, you know, falling out of love with him, I'm not going to say that it's necessarily his fault. It's far from always the case. But that doesn't mean that there was never, that the woman never felt love. Now, let's see. And Helen swaps their cover ideas because... You know, ah, crap. I, I, what was her name? I'll, I'll have it momentarily. The, the, or maybe I won't. I thought it would be in the wiki, but there's almost no details about this episode. Oh, uh, um, IMDb is gonna have it. Um, we'll link that. But yeah, the, the, you know, Peter's partner. 
is apparently really fed up with all these you know she she doesn't want to deal with another what did she say trophy wife you know so um let's see T tiffany i guess i th yeah that's pretty much the only person yeah you know T tiffany didn't want to deal with yet another trophy wife so you know helen swaps their cover IDs and Harry, to his credit, you know, goes along with it as Gib, you know, yeah, says that they, you know, that he should. And, you know, I feel like this is the kind of thing that you could very easily have it be like, oh, you know, why didn't, you know, they, they did like research on these people, didn't they? Well, maybe. That's the kind of thing, you know, for one thing, it could be super new of an issue. It might be that, you know, okay, she reached her limit like five minutes ago. And for another, it might be that she usually keeps that secret. You know, she, they're, they're you know, Omega hasn't been able to get anyone close to Peter and Tiffany. Now, let's see, what's the other... So the um, and and honestly, Harry is very funny. As are they called trophy husbands? I've I've yeah, you know, kitten, meow. And let's see, yeah, they're they're really really good together. The Harry and Helen, you know, yeah, really really good at getting the results. And then we have yeah, Helen zooms in for for the, you know, covering for the the professor and you know, as soon as she's done, she you know, tears off the the shirt she was wearing and she's wearing the dress right underneath. Let's see. And yeah, they managed to get the the uh, what does that say? Yeah, through through the Baccarat and the Blackjack, where Luther is the, you know, the, there's that thing about the house always wins unless the house is run by Donald Trump, and yeah, it helps that that you know they literally have an agent as the croupier croupier. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not into gambling. Uh, let's see, then we have the, yeah, and, and Peter gets so frustrated that he pulls a gun on Harry, who manages to talk him down, and, yeah, you know, honestly, clever the thing with, you know, no, 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 like, I'll get, you know, I'll get Gloria to, which is, in case you don't remember, that's what Helen was apparently going by, you know, I'll get Gloria to give me three million and you three million in case I lose my meals, you know, and yeah, very clever. And of course, since it's a TV show, it can't be quite that simple. So, you know, Peter ends up dead and, but they do get the engineer also. And let's see. He's, he's dead. What do you mean, dead? I mean, there's a hole in him, and he's not breathing. Trust me, with a thing like that in his back, in the long term, he's better off. And... Yeah, that was not the right accent. Don't know why I blew that. Anyway, I've watched that movie like 50 times. Whatever. But yeah, turns out that Comover was the engineer, and I think... Was v Voss? Was that his... No, wait, yeah, here we go. Benjamin, yeah, the engineer. Benjamin Keepers. Poor guy doesn't even get a, a real name in the, but yeah, you know, Helen was watching, she, you know, Harry was watching Peter, so Helen was watching everybody else because it's in the manual. And I like the bit with, you know, uh, uh, make a left on Hofstrasse, am, am I pronouncing that right? You know, just it's such a human moment in the middle of all this, you know, save the world spy stuff. So just, yeah, like who, who doesn't do that? Like, Am I, am I pronouncing this? It's, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not my first language. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. And, and you know, Maria's like, yeah, it's, it's, it was close enough. That's fine. 
and yeah, Helen keeps bringing up, you know, she's, you know, at the start of the episode, she's like, now I read training manuals a lot. And it, over the course of the episode, she keeps bringing up, yeah, the manual says that this is, you know, and yeah, you know, basically she is, she keeps quoting the manual where Harry is going off experience and yeah, sometimes if you've been, you know, like basically it's been a while since he had to focus on, okay, watching everybody, you know, so yeah, that's, it's, it's basically, it's, it's a new set of eyes on the situation, souls, you know. But yeah, it, it is one of those things where, you know, I, I went ahead and I've, I've read, have I read all of, I mean, yeah, I sort I, I, I read a lot of reviews. I'm not sure I read all of them. Like, after a while, it was like, okay, these people are just really hateful, and I don't like reading hate. So, but I, I read a lot of reviews of this, and... You know, people. One thing that someone said was, you know, they don't buy that Helen keeps coming up with better plans than Harry does, which did happen. Let's see, in the first one, she's the one who comes up with him posing as a guard and, and you know taking her to the helicopter, which I mean that that's born out of the fact that you know he wasn't really thinking about her language skills, so I didn't really feel like that. I didn't even know. I had to go back and rewatch to pick up that that was even like, yeah, of course that's her idea. That it it didn't stand out to me as bad. You know, of course it's her idea. She has this. You know, he clearly he wasn't really thinking a lot about how good she is with languages and how useful that could be in this kind. Of, you know, he says and he says he compartmentalizes. You know, she's domestic. He's the spy, so he wasn't thinking about how she could be a really good spy also. I don't think it happened in the second episode. I don't think she... Like, there were a couple of times where they said she should do something, and she didn't, but I don't think she presented an alternative. But yeah, in this one, you know, she was the one watching, which, you know, like, I don't... That's not really a plan as much as just her doing what she's supposed to. It wasn't even her own idea. It was in the manual. So, yeah. Let's see. And, you know, the the thing with the the, tr the truck isn't going to stop and, and the engineer isn't going to stop. I mean, yeah, at that point, the only choice is for Maria and Luther to stop the, the truck. And so they ram into it and you know and 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 give I think this was for the audience I don't think this, it I, I find it kind of annoying when they make a supposedly smart character say something stupid like you know one of the things that especially bothers me is in X-Men 2 when Cyclops it's very early I'm not a spoiler he's like you want I I, I you know Magneto's behind this, and it's like, no, no, that doesn't make any sense. Just, just rewrite it. Just have him say, I think we can all agree this isn't Magneto, because obviously they need to address, could this be Magneto? And here we have Harry starting to fire, and then Gibbs saying, there's a nuke in the car. Don't shoot. You know, I feel it's for the, for the audience's benefit. I feel like, just like, have Harry ask Gibb, what what do we do? Obviously, I can't shoot because there's a nuke in the car. You know, just it it really it it bugs me when when a character he should know better anyway. And you know, Harry gets ready to jump, and and Helen's like, Harry, I can see my periphery, your feet going out. You know, just yeah, very very funny. And the thing with you know, and and yeah, like you know, it's his plan. It's not her idea to you know. She's just like yeah, I can I can get the car close to to him and. You know, it's a classic spy kind of thing of jumping between vehicles, so that's cool. And, you know, he manages to, he, he puts, he gets him like a chokehold, I think, and, yeah, you know, at that point, are you really still going to press, the, you know, hit the, the gas, or are you going to focus on the guy, you know, who's got you in a chokehold? And, yeah, it's, uh, let's see, and... 
yeah, you know, Luther, you know, okay, I'm on a morphine drip. We should all be on a morphine drip. There would be no more war. And Maria said, yeah, we are a good team. And, you know, she, she broke up with him because she couldn't bear to lose someone that she cared so much about. And, you know, she's saying that and, and looks over and he's like snoring. He passed out from the, the pain and the medication. So that's, you know. But yeah, you know, that is like, I, I wish it wasn't necessary. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. But it's, I think it's sad that we're in a, a place where media has to reassure men, yes, straight women do love straight men, you know, not, not in everything. I'm, you know, yeah, there are cases where a woman gets into a relationship for the wrong reason. There's a lot of cases where men get into relationships for the wrong reason. But yeah, you know, since we evidently need it, I'm glad that the show is delivering. Let's see. The, and, and Gib tells us, I, I gotta, I keep almost calling him Gibbs. Because I watched, you know, NCIS for years, but no, his name is just Gib, or his nickname is just Gib. I don't. What, what is his full name again? I, Gibson. See, that makes it worse. That makes it harder for me to not call him Gibbs. But yeah, Gib. I don't. Apparently, some people really hate his character. I like his character. Anyway, but yeah, Gib tells us, yeah, you know, the the engineer is going to spend decades in a cement box taking him very far away from the cement pond. And Harry gets the plumbing fixed because of spy money and does say, you know, Helen is important to him and to his success. Her success is his success, you know. And, yeah, it is, again, like way too many men, you know, just let the, the female partner take care of everything domestic, everything the house and the neighbors and everything and don't give them enough credit for how much how important that is and suddenly you know what, what was it she said it it we've held it together with prayer with duct tapes and prayer and the plumber said you should have fixed that a year ago and you know suddenly it's it's practically exploding and spitting black water in their faces so yeah it's, it's but yeah, um, right, I forgot to say, again, love this episode, love all three episodes so far, um, yeah, I, the, the, yeah, I feel like actually, yeah, it gets, it's just getting better and better as, as the season goes along, so, yeah, uh, look forward to, to next episode, and, yeah, I'm, Right, I guess I could just briefly, yeah, I, I like the tension of this episode, again, like, the, the chase was quite good, I thought, with everyone getting involved, and some really, like, it, it was, like, I mean, I don't know that this is the kind of show that's gonna kill off major characters like Maria and Luther, at least not this early on, but it was still kind of tense when they, you know, drive right in front of the truck so that the truck hits their car, not the one that may well have a nuke in it, and just, yeah. Uh, so far, I feel like each, yeah, yeah all, all three times they managed to stop the terrorists in the same episode that they introduced the terrorists. This is, of course, you know, that's not something every single spy show does. I think I'm liking it so far. Um, I like that yeah, I, I, you know, because it kind of, it frees them up. It means that the next one can, you know, the threat is still the same. We still don't know. Actually, yeah, t t this one was a deviation from that. But th the second episode was still about the... Wait. Huh, you know, now I'm actually... Wait, was the second episode about a different type of terrorism than the first actually come to think of it maybe yeah it's it yeah so the threat is similar but not the exact same all three episodes so far have been like a violent terrorist attack involving some kind of 
either a by a biological weapon or a nuke or something along those lines. And yeah, it just it means that we can move on and focus on the you know. So yeah, this episode did not follow up on, you know, are they going to give Dana her privacy, you know, for for the which was set up at the very end of the episode before this one. Yeah, it's possible they won't follow up on that. And I think it's fine to not because they ra you know they pointed out they they raised the issue. It is like I mentioned in the in my video on the second episode that is an issue. How much privacy do you give your teenager as you know as a as a parent? Because there is that you know on the one hand you want them to be allowed to you know you 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 shouldn't control everything in their life. You just want to keep them safe and let them shape their own identity, you know, no matter what you do as a parent, your kids are not going to be exactly what you maybe had in your mind, you know, and yeah, you know, she's, she's okay. It's not like if they don't look at that thing, look, look at the, the surveillance that like, you know, cause the, the, you know, the cat lady next door did tell them, no, no, you're, she, she didn't like do anything awful, but yeah, you're probably, there's stuff on there that you might want to know about, but you know, yeah, the as as long as you can guarantee their safety, you gotta let them, you know, maybe maybe what she's doing will be a mistake, but part of life is making your own mistakes and learning, you know. So, yeah, I I think they they did enough to to raise. I think an argument could maybe be made that the end of this episode like doesn't like I mentioned doesn't confront the issue of of people you know, regular people not having enough money to you know fix their their appliances you know you nobody should be without like a, a dishwasher and and you know this yeah these are these are not problems that there's no reason for us to be dealing with these in like Ah, uh, crap, I forget. First world countries, you know. This is the, the, yeah, so, yeah, you know, at the, at the end, I, I don't know if, I think I could see some people maybe saying that it's like glorifying capitalism, them, like, taking a, a, you know, filling, filling the bathtub with money and, and bathing in, you know, it's, yeah, I don't know. If I I thought it was fine, didn't really bother me. Though I am not a fan of capitalism, and I think that is absolutely everything that I have to say about this episode. So, actually, I suppose I'll just very briefly, you know, one of the rev one of the things that I saw in reviews was people saying that it doesn't make sense for Gibb to be in charge because he's the guy in the van. I mean, they got to have someone be in charge and I feel like it makes it makes more of an impact if it's a character that we otherwise spend time with. Some people said, you know, he's you know, he's not in good enough shape to be a spy, which I mean, there's so many unrealistic things about this show. I feel like it just fits. You know, to tell you what, the moment that there's, like, a space alien on this show, I will be like, you're pushing it. But, like, the fact that, you know, oh, he's not in good enough shape to be a spy. Why is Helen already going on spy missions? These various things. Like, this is... Like, did you watch the movie anytime recently? Because that one's also pretty ridiculous. Like, it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know why people expect the show to be much more serious than the movie was and I'll grant that it's not as serious there, there are serious things in the movie I don't think those work particular but I, I think the, the movie does have a little bit of a identity crisis because the you have you know ridiculous you have really ridiculous stuff and then you have really serious stuff I, I don't think it works very well in the in the movie I think the show has a much more consistent identity in that regard. I, th I saw at least one person 
frustrated that a black guy is yelling at white people. Like, I I find it very difficult to. There's uh, that's racism. That's just that's racist. There's no other way. Why wouldn't it, that? They're they're working with these extremely important, like, if they fail, people die. Of course, sometimes, temp, you know, tempers flare, and if he is in charge of them, which it does kind of, it seems like he is the field, um, in, in the field he's in charge, yeah, of course, sometimes he yells at them. Why would it be a problem that a black man is yelling at white people unless you're racist, unless you, like, just, yeah. Um... I look forward to to their to, to people at least not being super comfortable being racist in public. Like someone wrote that on the internet. Like someone put that out there. It's gonna be on the internet forever. And I realize, you know, they it's it's a it's basically anonymous, you know, there's no like picture of the person. But still, like, I would feel ashamed if I put racism in a in a written review. Anyway. Yeah, uh, that is absolutely everything. So, yeah, um, I still don't have a proper sign off. Um, Omega ended another successful mission.